Alright guys, new review today on the Hot Toys Leon S. Kennedy. This is the biohazard version, so the box is black and it says biohazard and the stand here says biohazard with Leon S. Kennedy um, the nameplate. Uh, I'm going to show you the articulation first. He's got like a ball jointed head and neck. As you can see it sort of bends sideways, rotates and goes up and down. Um, his arm, arms are on a ball joint and double jointed um, elbow ball jointed hands um, can pop off and the reason why is so you can put the jacket on but you know it's not much of an issue you know I haven't broke it you just do that just push it back in again um, his legs are on a ball joint uh, not I think they're on a ball joint I'm not sure but they can go out in bending double jointed knee um, and go up and down um, he's got a holster on um, a shoulder holster as you can see and you basically you um, you basically put put the arms in a, in a position and just slide it off and then you pull, pull the hands off and put this jacket on as you can see nice little jacket here uh, nicely made it comes with a butt pack I, didn't, I, I put it on in before and it just kept falling off and I decided to just leave it off otherwise I'll lose it now to show you his accessories he came with a grenade um, Standard green grenade, hand grenade. Um, Krauser's knife after you fight him. The um, the um, Matilda, I think, yeah. Uh, it's basically the VP70 upgraded from Resident Evil 2. And you can pull the magazine out. As you can see, there's a, a round here. Just push that in there, and there you go. You don't, you can't pull the slide back on this one. It's a shame, really. The so, uh, not the assault rifle, the sniper rifle. Um, yeah, the magazine doesn't come out, and there isn't really a magazine on the sniper rifle. And I heard it can only go up and down. However, mine can go back, so I don't know. On other reviews, it can it can only go uh, up and down, but for some reason mine can't go out back as well. So the right gun, basically the automatic shotgun, the assault shotgun. It's got a extendable stock. It's a little bit fiddly as you can see, um, and the bolt can go back as well. There is a point in here where you can lock it, but I can't seem to find it. It takes a little while. Oh well. So it comes with the red nine or the Mazda broom handle, um, and the magazine come out. There's a, there's an actually a magazine on the gun in real life. The reason why it's a red nine is because they and the Germans carved the nine into the grip because it was a nine millimeter, so they didn't get mixed up with the other calibers. Um, this one is the um, broken butterfly. The cylinder cylinder can come out and rotate. It's a little awkward to do because of how small it is. As you can see, rotates. The hammer can go back. You, know, you can see it rotating there. So yeah, that's quite nice. He also comes with his radio, which comes from the game. Um, the 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 actual um, cable seems to be a bit loose in that. But another cool feature about this, it's a nice crafted um, thing. But um, it has two pictures of Hannigan and Leon. Um, in that picture, you probably can't see, but he's in his RPD uniform. RPD. RPD, I think it was RPD, yeah. Raccoon Police Department, yeah. Just getting confused. Um, yeah, and his, and his um, thing comes with his knife. This is his knife. You can see how small it is compared to the Krauser knife. You can fit one gun in here, and this is the uh, Blacktail, or I can't remember, I think it's the Blacktail or something else. Um, but yeah. Sorry about that rattling, you can hear, it's just my stand. Anyway, you can see the um, the light or the laser, I can't really remember, I think it's a light on the gun, but I think he doesn't have a light, I think he has a laser instead. Came off, this is a bit fiddly. Slide can go back. And the magazine come out, yeah. Um, for some people, they think this is the Glock, it's actually a Springfield XD. I did think it was a Glock at the start. Turns out I was wrong. They, they they do look similar. And his silver ghost, which is in his leg holster here, you just flip that up, pull it out, slide goes back. 
magazine comes out. A lot of people find this really fiddly, but um, you know I can hold it pretty well. Um, yeah, really nice figure. Yeah, um, it's got some. You know, it's got the shoes are pretty decent. The clothes are actually pretty decent. You can see the shoes are a separate piece, so they got better articulation. You can see it's a ball, the ball joint. Just see how it popped out. I'm gonna push it back in. Hang on. All right, I've popped it back in. It's all right now. Um, because I know you can customize your figure to the way you want it. I, I wouldn't recommend customizing this. It's a nice collectible. Uh, the the big feature I like about this is the the very nice detail, the hair and the eyes, and the face. I mean, the, the eyes look actually real. They're like shiny. Um, see that nice nice detail. Hair's a nice detail. Um, it all is a really nice detailed figure. Um, now as you know I bought the little tiny Desert Eagle and it does look good with the figure. So I'll show you the la I, I rate this a 5 out of 5. It will go in my collection and stay there. Um, my last, the last part of the video I'll show you the Desert Eagle in his hand. So stay tuned. There you can see. It looks pretty badass. It's probably one of the reasons why I actually got it. I just like the Desert Eagle and it's gold. And it looks good in his hand. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.